morning everyone namaste heartful welcome to all of you my name is shubhangi from heartfulness yoga academy joining you from kana shanti vanam hyderabad india we are in this series of 8 days of yoga that is leading towards us on international yoga day 21st june so like yesterday today also we are going to practice 30 minutes of yoga practice and then our guest speaker is going to come and she is going to discuss about today's topic so today's topic is rooted radiant finding stability and security so to start the practice first sit comfortably on your mat you have enough space on your mat place your palm on your knee try to take your back straight slowly and gently close your eyes inhale deeply exhale completely try not to think about any thoughts just bring your awareness towards your body give us ankalpa that whatever asanas we are going to perform it today we will do it by our heart take deep inhalation and deep exhalation Now slowly place your left palm on your abdomen. We are going to do abdominal breathing. Bring your awareness towards your breath and find the steadiness. So inhale, feel your stomach is bulging out. Exhale, your stomach goes in. Inhale, stomach bulge out. exhale in try to keep gentle smile on your face inhale deeply stomach bulge out exhale in inhale stomach bulge out exhale in last round inhale deeply exhale completely slowly release your palm on your knee keeping your eyes closed just observe the changes we are finding stability on our posture on our breath Now your breath is in normal position. Now we are going to perform Anulom Vilom Pranayama. So for that slowly open your eyes. Just look at me once. Then we will perform it together. So for that place your left hand in Chin Mudra. So join your first finger and thumb. Place it on your left knee. And from right hand make a Nasika Mudra. Bend your first two fingers. Now place your right thumb on your right nostril very softly and gently then exhale completely through your left try not to push your right nostril too much with your thumb just keep a gentle edge then inhale through your left nostril close your left nostril with your ring finger exhale through your right inhale through your right close 
exhale through your left yes this is our one round now we are gonna do it together two more rounds so if you want you can close your eyes and do this practice bring your awareness towards your breath when you inhale give a pause and when you exhale again give a pause let's begin let's do it together place your right thumb on your right nostril close your right nostril with your thumb close your eyes then inhale through your left nostril om 1 om 2 om 3 om 4 close your left nostril with your ring finger exhale through your right om 1 om 2 om 3 om 4 inhale through your right nostril om 1 om 2 om 3 om 4 close your right nostril with your thumb exhale through your left om 1 om 2 om 3 om 4 one more round, last round, inhale through your left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, close, exhale through your right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, inhale through your right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, close, exhale through your left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Exhale completely through your left nostril. Slowly release your palm. Place your palm in Chin Mudra on your knees. Keeping your eyes closed. Try to take your body straight. Back straight. Palms relaxed. Now bring your awareness towards your breath. How is your breath now? Is it stable? Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Now slowly open your eyes, we'll do next practice. We'll do some stretches just to prepare ourselves for standing asanas. So for that, Slowly, take your hands up from the front, taking your both hands up from the front, back straight, hands straight, then slowly while exhaling, first place your palm on the floor from the front, yes, then slowly glide your hand in front and bend forward as much as you can. If you are comfortable here, just be here. Otherwise, if your body is allowing you to go more deeper into the posture, just bend more. Then slowly with inhalation, come up, take a support of your palms, inhale. As you exhale, slowly take your hands down from the front. The way we went to the posture, the same way we'll come back. Okay? Now, we'll do the twisting. So place your left palm on your right knee. I'm showing you this time from here. Then I will come in front and then I will show you from the front how it is showing. Okay? So we are placing our left palm on our right knee. Supporting our back with our right hand. Okay, keeping our body in front, inhale from here, 
as you exhale twist your body as much as you can towards your right keep normal breath here inhale slowly come back to the center exhale release yes now we will do with left side so to show the left side i'm going to show you from the front place your right palm on your left knee okay then left palm on the sub back supporting inhale from the center exhale twist your body towards your left as much as you can find the stability keep normal breath here try not to hold your breath now inhale slowly come back to the center exhale release just close your eyes for few breaths bring your awareness towards your breath towards your body how you are feeling are you feeling centered and ready for the standing asanas now slowly with few blinks open your eyes and ready for standing asanas so to start standing asanas we'll do one round of sun salutation please stand up on your mat come in front of your mat join your feet together take your both hands on the either side of your body stand in samasthiti then inhale as you exhale join your hands in front of your chest and namaskar mudra inhale take your both hands up from the front arch your back exhale bend forward from your lower back slightly bend your knees place your palm on the either side of your legs and then slowly relax your head towards your knee then slowly take your right leg back knee on the floor look in front retain left leg back come into plank posture table posture then exhale knee chest and chin on the floor slightly hips up inhale glide forward come to bhujangasana your elbows are closer towards your body your feet are flat and closer to each other then slowly tuck your toes push your hips up come into parvatasana then slowly take your right leg in front between your palms exhale left leg in front inhale take your both hands up first arch your back exhale hands down so this we have done half round now we are going to do with left side so let's begin inhale exhale palms on your chest inhale arms up arch your back exhale bend forward abdomen resting on your thigh head relaxed slowly take your left leg back knee on the floor look in front retain right leg back come into plank exhale knee chest and chin on the floor slightly hips up 
इनहेल ग्लाइड फॉरवर्ड भुजंगासना एक्सहेल टक यू टूज पुश यूर हिप्स अप पर्वतासना ट्राई टू प्रेस योर हील बैक देन इनहेल लेफ्ट लेग इन फ्रंट एक्सहेल राइट लेग इन फ्रंट इनहेल टेक यू बोथ हैंड्स अप आर्च यू बैक एक्सहेल हैंड्स डाउन relax relax yourself and shithil tadasana so feet apart hands apart close your eyes take deep inhalation deep exhalation find the stability in this posture when your eyes are closed is your feet are probably placed on the floor if not then bring your awareness towards your breath towards your body now slowly with few blinks open your eyes we'll do next posture trikonasana okay so for that place your palm on your waist and make a stance 3 to 4 feet yes now from here make sure your feet are firmly placed on the floor and it is straight now turn your right foot towards your right side try not to tilt your body like this okay in trikonasana our body should be in center our waist will be on center yes your right foot only turning towards your right side placing your palm on your waist then while inhaling slowly take your hands up towards the shoulder level palms facing downward now inhale as you exhale bend laterally towards your right side you're bending laterally to from your waist okay inhale here as you exhale bend laterally towards your right you can place your palm on your knee or on your shin try not to droop your shoulder in front make sure your chest is open your left hand is straight palm facing in front okay lateral stretch now If you are able to look up look up otherwise you can look down If you are comfortable you can look up Now inhale slowly come back Exhale hands down We have to find the stability on the posture You remember now slowly place your palm on your waist turn your right foot to the center now we are going to do the same thing with the left side so turn your left foot towards the left side make sure bring your awareness towards your body and your waist is on the center okay now inhale slowly take your hands towards the shoulder level as you exhale bend laterally towards your left open your chest look towards your palm if you are able to otherwise look down inhale come back towards the shoulder level exhale down Yeah. Now slowly place your palm on your waist. Turn your left foot towards the center. Bend your right knee 
slowly come back to this center. Relax. Feet apart, hands apart, close your eyes. Relax and Shithil Tadasana. Feel the effect of this posture on your body. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Now slowly open your eyes. Prepare yourself for next practice. We are going to perform Virbhadrasana. So place your palm again on your waist. From here also you can take a stance three to four feet again or a little bit more according to your body. Okay. Now turn your right foot towards your right side. Your waist is in the center first. Feel that your body is stable on the center and your both body, both sides of your body is stable. Yeah? Then from here, turn your waist towards your right side. So your left foot will be in little bit slight. It will not be straight 90 degree. It will be little bit half 45 degree. Okay? Turn your waist. Now once you feel steady and comfortable, slowly inhale. As you exhale, bend your right knee. Feel, are you comfortable here? Then slowly, we are going to take our hands up like a warrior. So inhale, take your hands up from the side. Join your palms together. First be here. Are you feeling steadiness here? Are you able to balance? Then if you are able to balance, then you can slowly take your head up. Look towards your palm. Then inhale, slowly stretch your leg. Exhale, hands down from the side. Place your palm on your waist. Slowly turn your body towards the center. Turn your left, right foot in the center. Okay. Now we are going to do the same posture with left side. So now feel how your body is. One side you are feeling comfortable, one side you are not feeling comfortable. So to do that, we are going to do with left side. So turn your left foot towards the left. Make sure your waist is on the center, your shoulders are relaxed, face is relaxed. Now turn your waist towards your left side. When you turn, your feet will become a little bit more, 45 degree. And then your body is on the left side. Now inhale. As you exhale, bend your left knee. Twist your waist. Then slowly inhale. Take your hands up from the side. Join your hands together. Once you feel steady and comfortable, you can look towards your palm. Then slowly inhale, come back, stretch your knee. Exhale, hands down from the side. Place your palm on your waist. Turn your waist towards the center. Turn your left foot towards the center. Bend your right leg. Slowly come back. Relaxen. Shithil Tadasana. Feet apart. Hands apart. Close your eyes. Feel the effect of this posture on your body.
Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Now slowly open your eyes. Now we are going to do the chair posture. So for that, take your feet hip width distance apart. Your hands in front and shoulder level, palms facing downward. Then inhale slowly, come on your toes. Exhale, slightly bend your knees and sit on your mat. Stretch your legs in front. Yeah, place your palms back, relax in Shithil Dandasana. Feet apart, hands back, close your eyes. Head is tilting slightly. Just bring your awareness towards your breath. When you inhale, your stomach goes out. When you exhale, your stomach goes in. Now slowly prepare yourself for next posture. Join your feet together. Place your both hands on the either side of your body. This is Dandasana. Yes. Your back. Try to take your back straight. Your legs should be straight. Your toes facing towards your body. And your palms on the either side of your body. Just be here for a few breaths. Try to close your eyes. Find the stability. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, slowly open your eyes, now we'll do next posture, so bend your right leg, place your right feet closer to your left thigh, bring your awareness like always to take your back straight okay this time your left toe should be facing towards you now inhale slowly take your hands up from the front then exhale we are bending forward so while bending forward you can place your palm here and then just glide as much as you can this much here Okay, just be here for once, then inhale, take your hands up, stretch nicely, then exhale, bend forward completely, try to touch your toes, touch your leg, and bend. Inhale, come back. Stretch your both hands up. Exhale, hands down. Now we'll do the same thing with left leg. So stretch your right leg in front. Bend your left leg. Place your left feet closer to your right thigh. Back straight. Inhale, slowly take your hands up. Stretch, exhale, bend forward. Inhale, take your hands up, stretch nicely, exhale. Now this time try to touch your feet from your hands, then bend forward.
slowly inhale come back stretch your both hands up exhale hands down slowly stretch your left leg in front shake your legs release all the tension from your legs now slowly bend your elbow taking a support effort elbow lie down on your back lie down in shavasana for few breaths feet apart hands apart eyes are closed now prepare yourself for next posture pavan muktasana so join your legs together take your hands on the either side of your body now bend your right leg lift your right leg interlock your fingers inhale as you exhale push your right thigh towards your chest now you can feel when you came from standing to sitting and now you're lying down your back your spinal cord is completely on the floor you can feel the massage on your back slowly release your palm stretch your right leg in front we'll do with left side so bend your left leg lift your left leg interlock your fingers inhale as you exhale push your left thigh towards your chest then slowly release your hands stretch your legs in front now we are going to do with both legs okay so bend your both legs hug your legs hug your legs nicely you can feel the massage on your back you can just roll from right to left now come into the center Now we are going to do last practice for today Jathara Parivartasana. So to do that take your hands towards the shoulder level palms facing downward. If you are comfortable here you can keep your knees here. If you are not comfortable here you can place your feet on the floor. Okay? Then slowly drop your knees towards your right side and look towards the opposite side twist your body as much as you can inhale center exhale drop your legs towards your left side look towards your right inhale center last round exhale towards your right look towards your left inhale center exhale towards your left look towards your right Now slowly inhale come back to the center exhale and stretch your legs in front take your hands towards the side of your body feet apart hands apart close your eyes relax and shavasana bring your awareness towards your breath 
how is your breath now? Is it too fast? Then try to make it normal while inhaling deeply. Exhale deeply. Now, now we are going to do final relaxation, Shavasana. Your feet apart, hands apart, eyes closed, palms facing upward. Try not to move your body during Shavasana. Relax completely. Let's begin with the toes. Wiggle your toes and feel them relaxed. Relax your ankles and your feet. Feel energy coming from the Mother Earth entering your feet and relaxing them. Relax your knees and thighs. Release all the tensions from your thighs and feel them relaxed. Relax your hips, stomach, and faced. Relax your lower back, mid back, upper back. Release all the tensions from your back and feel them relaxed. Now relax your chest and shoulders. Feel your shoulders melting away. Relax your neck, neck region. Now bring your awareness towards your face. Relax your all facial muscles from the top to the bottom of the face and feel them relaxed. Now feel how your whole body is now completely relaxed from the top to the bottom. Now slowly join your feet together. Take your both hands above your head, interlock your fingers and stretch your whole body nicely stretch slowly release your hands turn your body towards your one side bend your one leg place your one hand on your abdomen and making a pillow of your other hand just be here for a few seconds now slowly taking your support of your palms Come and sit on a cross leg comfortable position without opening your eyes. Try to take your back straight, palms on our knees. 
just observe your whole body after doing asana practice. Are you feeling st stillness in your body? Now slowly rub your palms. Feel the energy on your palms. Place your palm on your eyes. Slowly make a cup of your palm in front of your face. With few blinks and a beautiful smile, slowly open your eyes while gazing towards your palm. Thank you so much everyone for joining. I hope you have enjoyed the practice session. Now I would like to invite Viji Bala Subramaniam. She is going to talk about today's topic rooted and radiant, finding stability and security. She has been practicing heartfulness meditation for many years and now I would like us to hear from her. Welcome and I am very happy to be a part of this 8 days yoga program. Thank you. Namaste. About 30 years ago, I stumbled on the path of yoga. When I look back, I think I stumbled, but actually there was a deep yearning, a longing that pulled me towards it. I was a young graduate student, just setting out on the path of my career, very strong, very clear, very sure, just roaring for success. I had decided what I wanted to be, how I wanted to grow, and how I wanted to serve and support the world. But the flip side, on the flip side, inside me, in my heart, I was very empty. A little alone, on the inside, surrounded by a lot of beautiful friends and family, but alone. A deep longing for I know not what. And didn't have a sustenance to hold on to. Um, I was getting a little desperate. And it was around that time when one of my classmates introduced me to heartfulness meditation. And I took to it like a duck takes to water. The practice was so beautiful. There was a morning meditation, an evening cleaning or a deep letting go process and a night heartfulness prayer that very beautifully, elegantly and simply defines what is the highest aspiration or goal of human life. And I could map all my little, little, little goals and aspirations to that big primary one of life. And things began to click, click and click. I didn't know what I was looking for or I didn't know what to expect or what to even see. But I remember one day I was walking across campus and rolled out my mat into a Hatha Yoga class. And suddenly I felt such a fullness on the inside. You know, the, that emptiness that I described, it, was, it had vanished. It was completely gone. I was stunned, but I was also very clear that it was because of this practice that I had embarked on. So I continued very deeply day after day and the years rolled on, meditation, rejuvenation, a very dynamic introspection. And it began to cut through the clutter and the shift started coming. Not overnight, in little pieces, little by little by little. The first thing that came was a very quiet confidence, a security on who I am or who I was growing into and my interaction with everybody around me. Most important was the way I was able to perceive and define success and adversity. This was very important for me. And it came from within, not with any textbook reference or by what somebody else dictated. It was a very beautiful experience. And 
I started growing and all of this helped me in the years that were to come. Now, when I look back at this journey, I just marvel because it was very quiet, soft, organic, but the yogic journey was very encompassing too. So from feeling lost, uh, feeling like I was floating from here to there, I became rooted, centered, unbelievable experience and I'm very grateful for it. You know, when we talk about being rooted, the birds, animals, humans, all of us are rooted in Mother Earth. Uh, by the elements, I am an earth element. So when this topic was offered to me, I was quite fascinated. And the same way as being rooted in Mother Earth with this practice of mine, I moved to being rooted, centered deeply in my heart. And what this nourished with me with was a very, very deep stillness and a oneness with everything around me. Heartfulness has this very beautiful prayer or affirmation that says that everything around me, the air particles, the birds, the animals, just about everything around me is absorbed, immersed in godly remembrance. Everything is in osmosis with the source and moderation and peacefulness is developing in everything. This is one of my favorite affirmations. You know, I practice that when I am going on a drive or when I'm going on a long walk or even when I'm seated at home quietly in a corner. And I find this affirmation and these practices of heartfulness very empowering. And especially for women. Why is this so important for women? Because we are caregivers. We are the ones that nourish, love, and take care of everybody around us. Um, in any given day for women, you know, there are a myriad of events that take place that we have to be responsible for. And of course, there are a myriad of responses too for that. Um, it's never always about being very loving and very kind and very nice. You have the gamut of other emotions too, where sometimes you have to be very sharp, curt. Um, sometimes you have to be, um, you have to pretend as though uh, you don't understand, or you have to dole out some punishments. Uh, you have to face a lot of resistance from the ones you love. What's very nice about being connected and rooted deeply in my heart is all of these emotions, all of these can be just a mask that I have to put on for a particular situation. And then when that situation's over, the mask comes off and I'm still rooted deeply in my heart with all that love, care and nourishment. And whether it is my people at work or it's my family members or my own children, dear friends, it's a mask and it's a way and so it doesn't sour the relationships and it doesn't make the atmosphere very ha heavy at all. What I find very, very, very beautiful as a woman by doing this yogic practice and allowing myself to be rooted inside my heart is one of the most beautiful things is that I don't tend to extrapolate anything anymore. My outward responses, they are not um, exaggerated. Um, I, I don't imagine things anymore. Uh, it's true, I, I, as a human being, I am concerned uh, for any event or any happening in my life. The response is that, one of concern. All the outward exaggerations simply, simply drop off. It's not there. Um, I, I'd like to share a very beautiful episode that recently happened with my young teenager son. Uh, we were at that time of our life, or rather he was, where he was making some very important decisions for himself. And he was deciding to go on an unorthodox route, very far away from the 
from the very normal forms of education. And as always, um, such choices are not easy. They come with a lot of resistance, a lot of uh, opinions of varying natures from well-meaning friends and family. Very difficult um, how to know whether you're right or wrong. And I recall during that, uh, that time, which was, uh, when I look back, rather difficult. Uh, I was able to stay secure in my heart, which um, gave me, a, and my practice, gave me a lot of clarity and confident, confidence. And I was not telling him what to do, but I was able to be his backbone and uh, to steer him, go towards finding for himself what he wanted to do. Uh, like I said, there was no exaggeration. There was no imagination. The outward responses were not cluttered. Um, the concerns were addressed. I was very calm, centered, and if I may use the word even rooted during such a turbulent time. And then the clutter fell off and the path forward forged. Um, we still don't know whether it's successful or not, so it's a good time to share this. But um, uh, we're definitely on the right track. And uh, this, this yogic practice, this being rooted in the heart, connected to one and all, and the clarity that it brought me, and therefore the peace, the stability, the harmony, it was simply priceless. Um, and it's just not me. So many women I know go through so many situations in their life, day in and day out. Um, serious disorders, diseases in the family, loved ones suffering, financial problems, familial discord. Uh, just the list goes on and on and on. And the women that I know who can stay very rooted and uh, centered and transmit their stability. Uh, they serve as anchors for their entire family. Uh, they serve to nourish in this way. They serve to care for their family. It's very beautiful to watch them in action. And uh, as women, you know, we are the caregivers, we are the nourishers, not just for the family, not just for the firms that we work in, um, the nation and maybe even the world at large. Um, you know, we, carry, we carry everybody in our wombs, uh, the womb of our heart. And for us to be able to stay rooted, stay calm and carry them, the number one, the most primary thing is to take care of our own selves. And that seems to be the era that we are in now. Everybody is talking about self-care. Uh, some of the most uh, wonderful examples that I like is one in the airplane of the oxygen mask, that you place the mask on yourself before you can place it on anybody else for assistance. And uh, the other one is the car on a racetrack that's like zipping round and round a million miles. But what we all fail to see from the stand is the pit stop. If the car didn't have a place to go and refuel itself, um, recharge itself, forget winning, it's just going to blow up to pieces. And uh, really, we need that for ourselves, to nourish ourselves, to pause, to connect deeply inside ourselves and take care of ourselves. And only then we can really radiate that to everybody and take care of everybody. Again, you know, there are so many choices in the world. And for me, I have always felt now in the last 30 years that the yogic practices are the ones that nourish and take care of ourselves very well. It could be anything. It could be uh, breathing pranayama, it could be asana, meditation, reflection, any of these ones, the ones that allow you to go deep inside yourself, rooted in the heart, anchored there, nourish you 
those are the ones that can really carry you through this maze of life. And I even dare say that when we are rooted in something like this, perhaps we then become radiant to all. Namaste.